Yo, what is up guys? So today I finally have the Mate 40 Pro and Huawei sent me this for this review and I'm really excited to unbox it since Mate series phones are my favorite like last year's Mate 30 Pro. So we'll do a very quick unboxing and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Right, so let's go ahead and lift the box. So there you go, that's the Mate 40 Pro which we'll talk about in a bit. So diving deep, there's another box that has the SIM ejector tool and a free clear jelly case. And since this one is a review unit, there's no papers like manual or warranties. And under that, we have the USB-C headphones, a USB-C charging cable, and a whopping 66 watt supercharger which is pretty high. So we'll do a test later on to see how fast this thing can charge the Mate 40 Pro. Okay, so here's the Mate 40 Pro and it comes with a pre-installed screen protector. Then on the right side, here we can find the red accent power button. And as you see, the volume keys are back. Then on the top, there's a speaker, IR blaster, and a mic. And below that, here we have the dual SIM card slash memory card slot, USB-C port, and another speaker giving you two speakers for better movie marathon. Then there's nothing on the left side, as you see here. Then at the back, here are the Leica cameras, which they call the space ring. So here we have the 12 megapixel telephoto lens, 50 megapixels ultra vision lens with 1.9 aperture, 20 megapixels ultra wide cine lens with 1.8 aperture, laser sensor for accurate and fast autofocus, and of course the LED flash. Now here's the gorgeous 6.7 inch OLED curved screen which they call the Horizon display and it has this 90Hz screen refresh rate which gives you this super smooth swipes and it's very responsive. Then of course the peel cutout for the 13 megapixels ultra vision selfie camera and a 3D depth sensing camera just like the ones on the P40 series but this one has its own upgrade which we'll talk about in a bit. Right, so the phone feels quite comfy in the hand and the finish looks really cool and it's more than just a silver because it changes depending on how it catches light and I also like the matte surface which doesn't show much of that ugly fingerprint just like the ones on the Mate 30 Pro. Right, so here are the specs of the Mate 40 Pro. Right, so it has 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, 90 hertz screen, which I mentioned earlier, and a 4,400 milliamp battery. And not only that, it's also the first device that uses 5 nanometer chipset, which is called the Kirin 9000, that packs more than 15 billion transistors, and it's capable of multitasking, processing massive amounts of data. And aside from that, it's also 5G, which is 10 times faster than 4G, with better stable signal and has low latencies and if you love to stream videos online or play games then go for the 5G enabled phones like the Mate 40 Pro. So the phone's interface is Huawei's latest EMUI version 11 based on Android 10 and you can download your favorite Android apps in the app gallery which has tons of apps and if you can't find the apps that you need then you can use Petal Search. Now this app will give you a direct download link for the specific app that you need. Right, so let's move on to the fingerprint scanner which works super fast as you see here and even the face unlock is really impressive because it even works in the dark. It also has these cool hands-free gesture controls where you can swipe like this and even take a screenshot just by doing this. Now you can even swipe left or right or even play or pause a video without touching your phone which is pretty handy especially when you're working on something like baking and your hands are full of flour so this feature is really helpful. And one of my favorite features is the smart screen rotate. So what it does is it detects your face orientation and follows it and it does not depend on the accelerometer which sometimes rotates on the wrong way. Especially when you're lying on the bed sideways which I always do so this one is an awesome feature for me. The Mate 40 Pro is also a full IP68 water and dust resistant and surprisingly the fingerprint scanner still works even the screen is wet. Right, so the dual speaker setup is pretty loud and way better than other phones and I really like it especially when watching movies or YouTube videos. Right, so gaming on the Mate 40 Pro is superb and games like PUBG and COD Mobile runs buttery smooth and lag free at high settings and the temperatures are pretty good after playing for one hour. And charging with the 66 supercharger is really really fast and for only 30 minutes the phone is at 88% then fully charged after 44 minutes. Right, so let's talk about the front cam. So if you guys are into vlogging, then this phone is definitely for you. It has an ultra wide selfie camera, so you don't need a selfie stick or stretch your arms just to fit more content in your frame. And here I'm holding both Mate 40 Pro and Mate 30 Pro close to me, and you can see how wide the Mate 40 Pro, and with that space, I can even fit four more persons in the frame, which is really cool. 
right so video stabilization works pretty well on the mate 40 pro and here's a sample video of me running and you can see the shakiness recording on the dslr camera but when we take a look at the footage on the mate 40 pro it almost looked like i'm running using a handheld gimbal which is really impressive and there's also a new feature called story creator and what it does is basically create a single video from multiple short clips and it has different templates to choose from so all you have to do is choose one template then start recording short clips and after that it will automatically create a story for you with different transitions so here's how it looks like Another cool feature is the AI tracking which I find pretty interesting so basically what it does is it follows the subject when it moves and on the actual video it almost looked like I'm moving the phone but in reality the phone is just stationary and the AI tracking does the job. And then here comes my super favorite feature which is the ultra slow-mo but I'm so curious why the Mate 40 Pro only has 3840 fps compared to its predecessor that has 7680 fps slow-mo which is kinda weird but anyway the slow-mo still looks great and by the way the front cam can now be used for slow-mo at 240 fps which is a cool thing and here's a slow-mo shot using the front cam. So another cool feature is the audio zoom. So what it does is it amplifies the sound as you zoom in on the sound source like this. Right, so the Mate 40 Pro is also capable of 50 times zoom and here's how it looks like. Then you can also shoot at dual mode, so it basically uses two lenses so you get one close-up view and one wide view. And aside from that, you can now use both the front cam and the rear camera for the dual view mode. And here's a short sample. And then here's a 4K video sample using the main cam. And of course, some sample photos using the main cameras. Right, so that is my review of the Mate 40 Pro and yes, I highly recommend it especially if you guys are into vlogging, videography or even photography then you should try this phone. Links are in the description below if you guys are interested to check more about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.